Jessie B. Scrapa came back with my layout share for the month of June. Um, I don't have as many videos up, but I did get quite a bit um, scrapped. It was just hard scrapping with family and filming it. And uh, so, but I will show you what I did. So this first page here, it does not have a um, video. It is a two page spread. You can do it either direction. Um, this is using one of Alice's, Allison Davis's um, sketches. And so I can't show you the sketch, but I love how this is the second time I've used this sketch and I just, uh, I love it. So um, these are all stickers from Chamel in the background. I used one of Chamel's uh, sticker books, so these are Chamel stickers. And then um, I can't remember what the title is, but um, this, the word sticker or the um, what do you call them? Blocks. Stickers are also from Chamel. So, Memories of Summer. And um, then these pages are from uh, a 6x6 six six paper pad. And then this is a, a piece of scrap um, that I got from uh, yeah, my scrap bin. It's just one of my wood pieces. And then some more of the Chamel stickers on this side. And I really like how this one turned out. It's really cute. Okay. This one is another one um, that I did. It's also a two-page spread. And it's another one from that same um, Allison Davis uh, sketches. So, um, it was a class I did, I think this one was two years ago, and um, I love it. And so this was just another one of her sketches she had in it. So I um, redid it, and this time I used a paper pad from Walmart, and so it's a thinner paper, but I love the colors in it. It's very, very summery. These was a whole page of butterflies. I just fussy cut another page of flowers. So my embellishments and everything came from that same paper pad. And then this is a little bit of washi tape here, and then I brought in some puffy paints, and then my um, Tim Holtz um, word phrases. So, yeah, I think this one turned out really cute, too. Okay, this one was from The Best Stuff, 30 Days of Sketches, and it was day one. So, uh... This one turned out really cute. Um, trying to use up that um, sheet of stickers that have these puffy stickers on it. So, Loving Us is the title. I brought in that heart into two more spots just so that it wasn't the only sparkly. And, um, yeah, the sketch for it is right here. It is a Laura Whitaker sketch. And, um, yeah. So this was on the first, and yeah, I like that one. Okay, this one here is a um, 30 days, of, best of 30 days of sketches, and this is a sketches in time, and it's a mixed media mayhem, and so I combined the two. There is a video for this one, and yeah. Okay, this one does not have a video I don't think yeah no video it is for day four of 30 days best of 30 days of sketches it's a Susanna Stringfellow sketch and I videoed it but it didn't record so alright here is the sketch though I used a paper pad from um, Michaels it's a very thin paper pad it's all about travel and um, I used washi tape up this side, and uh, this is where, right after my daughter hurt her knee, we had to go to the airport and pick up my brother and his wife, and so she was keeping me company. Not very well. She was sleeping in the truck. This one here is for day seven. It's an Ashley Hornton um, sketch. 
I love this sketch. Isn't that cute? And I did not put the, it has a circle. I did not do the circle. I just, I like just the hearts floating. Um, and there is a sketch, uh, or video for this one. This one here is for um, the Scrap 5 challenge. And um, I came up with the uh, Scrap 5 list for this month, so that was a lot of fun. Um, there is a video for this one. And oh, this is my, my sweet son taking care of his sister. I love that picture. This one here is for day 10. Um, of Best of 30 Days of Sketches. The sketch is a crafty template and it's also for mixed media mayhem. We need to use ink, household item, and metallic splatters. So here's my ink. My household item is a um, paper cup for um, cupcakes and I do have some metallic splatters on here too. There is a video. This one also has a video. This one was for Best of 30 Days of Sketches. This is for day 11. This is the day that Christy at Christy's Beautiful Life uh, featured me. And so that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. And um, yeah, so here is the sketch. It is an Allison Davis sketch. And um, yeah, this is that paper that is all travel themed. But um, I thought it worked perfect for... Um, this picture of my husband doing stuff for the generator, fin gassing. There is a video for that. This one also has a video, and it is a page map sketch, and this is a different paper pad. This is for a paper pad from Hobby Lobby that's all about um, outdoors, and here's the sketch. It's for day 13. Love this sketch, but I love page map sketches. And, yeah, so here's how this one turned out. This turned out really good. This one is also using that same paper pad with the forest outdoor stuff. And this one is for um, Scrapping in Lauren Tides ink. And I love her sketch. It's amazing. This is also for Best of 30 Days of Sketches. And there is a video on this one. This one is for Mixed Media Mayhem and Best of 30 Days of Sketches. Here is the sketch and it's a Lottie Loves Paper sketch. And look at those butterflies and little butterfly trails. It's so cute. Instead of butterfly trails, I mean I did them, um, but I put this stenciled um, ink stenciling in the background. I think that turned out really cute. There is a video on this one and I just love how it turned out. This one is for uh, the Craft IQ Challenge, and this put, went up on the 20th. This is also a uh, Best of 30 Days of Sketches, and there is no video on this one. It, I recorded it, and then I deleted it on accident when I was trying to make room on my phone. So, here is the sketch that I used, and it's a Let's Get Sketchy sketch. And uh, I can't remember everything that was on the list for, there were seven different things on the list. I know I had used pattern paper, um, I had used vellum, um, yeah, I can't remember. I can't hide my journaling, so I hid my journaling, yeah. Oh, and no, no squares, so there's no squares on here. See, even this one is, I cut it so it wasn't a square. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. But sorry, no, no video. There's no video for this one either. This one I just wanted to play. And so I needed to use more of these pictures because I have so many pictures of when we went up to the job site. And so I used um, that travel paper again because I love the colors for the out in the woods. And um, yeah, I just think this one turned out really cute. You've seen a moose that day. There's my moose butterfly that is the biggest caterpillar I mean that's my son's hand and his hand is way bigger than mine and yeah so that was pretty cool but yep 
no video for that one. So this one does have a video. And this one is for thir best of 30 days of sketches. Here is the sketch. It's by, um, let's see if I can bring it up for you guys. There. And I can't even, it's not English, I don't think. And, but I love the sketch. I love the way it turned out. And I do have a video up for it. This one does not have a video. I use mostly um, scraps for it. So these are all scraps. Um, they're not all from the same collection. Most of them are, I think. But, and then I use the stenciling here. And then these are some big uh, sequins. And these are from the same um, paper as this one here, this paper. I just cut the flowers out. And my puppy dogs, I just love the way this one turned out. It's so cute. No video, not no sketch, nothing for that one. This one here is Mixed Media Mayhem, and there is a video for this one. Um, we were um, scrap lifting a beautiful layout by um, Rebecca Moore, and I love her layout. I like how mine turned out. It's totally different, but I, you can see where I got the inspiration from. There is a video for this one. There is no video for this one. It is a double page. Oh no, there is a video. This is for day 27, and it's an Allison Davis sketch. And it goes like this. <laughs> I turned a single page, which was basically this here with the embellishments and the half and half page design. I shrunk that down, stuck it in the middle. It had three. Uh, pictures on it and I want to use these three big pictures and use this tiny paper pad so I shrunk it down I added these strips um, and this is taking another one of Allison Davis's uh, sketches and turning it was a double page sketch that she did for one of her classes so I can't show the sketch but I combined the sketches to make this and I love how it turned out there is a video for this one this one does not have a video and this one, I just wanted to play with papers and not record <laughs> and so um, I just love how this paper looks like it's falling down here a uh, really great picture of my son when he was doing some um, spotting with his um, s spotter there and um, yeah, I just, I love the colors. This one turned out really cute. So these are all the layouts I did um, this month. And I did, it ended up being like four double page sketches. And 23 sketches in all, or not sketches, four double page layouts and 23 layouts total and so I did pretty good for um, getting some scrapping done just uh, didn't get all of them filmed um, takes a little bit more time and effort to film them and uh, space and so um, next month probably gonna have to be the same thing I'll try to get at least two videos up a, a week, but I can't promise that. And um, but I will try to get some uh, scrapping done to do a layout in the end. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, I don't mind if anyone scrap lifts me. I would be honored if you did. If you tag me, that would be amazing because I would love to see what you do. And I'm on um, Instagram and Facebook, and so, yeah, just go ahead and uh, tag me if you do anything. If you don't, that's fine, too. I don't expect any credit. I um, do this to inspire people, so, um, yeah, just get out there, get your pictures out, and get them scrapped. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!